five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. When you think of a rocket launch, you probably think of countries such as USA or Russia. But in 1971, the UK proudly joined the space race, launching the Black Arrow rocket and placing the Prospero X3 satellite into orbit. The UK has designed more satellites than anyone outside the USA and China. Unfortunately, they could not launch a rocket on home soil. However, with the size of satellites decreasing over time, their compact size and reduced launch costs have opened up new opportunities for various countries, including the United Kingdom, to engage in space activities. How is the United Kingdom positioning itself to contribute to today's space race? The UK has a strong space sector, which contributes £17 billion to the country's economy. However, although it can design satellites, the country had no place from which to launch them. For this reason, the UK came up with a plan to build seven domestic spaceports, which are set to be operational by the end of 2024. The project is part of the country's £1.5 billion UK space funding programme. Three of the spaceports are designed for vertical launches from a rocket. They are all located in Scotland, in Shetland, Sutherland and the Western Islands. The remaining four are designed for horizontal launches, located in Prestwick, Campbelltown, Clanbedder and Newquay. The Cornwall site is already operational, boasting a 2,744 metres long runway and direct access over the sea. These will host launch from the air systems. And this modified jumbo jet is what they're hoping will launch the first ever satellite from British soil. It's a Boeing 747 named Cosmic Girl. And you can see just strapped underneath the wing there is Launcher One, a 400 kilogram rocket. Orbex Prime has been able to raise 17.3 million pounds to build Sutherland Spaceport which is set to become the first carbon neutral spaceport in the world. This is thanks to lightweight 3D printed engines and biopropane fuel that cuts the emissions of a single launch by up to 96%. The spaceport will support 250 new jobs and generate one billion pounds over the next 30 years. But investing in space can be risky business. Virgin Orbit conducted the first rocket launch from British soil in January 2023, the company launched the Launcher 1 spacecraft from a modified Boeing 747-400. The launch was a success and the rocket soared to an altitude of 180 kilometers. But almost two hours after takeoff, Launcher 1 suffered a technical fault and the rocket and the nine satellites it carried plunged into the ocean. That last moment, it just didn't go to plan and yeah, it's, it's really upsetting um, for everybody, you know, and we've done, we've done everything um, and it's just one of those things in life. It is rocket science after all, but the UK has not given up. Orbex Prime is expected to host the first vertical launch from British soil within the next few months. Will it have better luck than Virgin Orbit? And. Will the UK be able to turn a non-existing satellite launch sector into a £40 billion industry?